This presentation is prepared for fourth EPIC conference in November 2022. So uh, the uh, topic of this uh, presentation is about enhancing the resolution of micro city images using convolutional neural network based uh, super resolution models. Uh, so uh, there are different type of uh, type of me methodology, super resolution methodology that can help us to enhance the resolution of micro city images. So it's uh, quite crucial for us in order to uh, enhance the resolution of micro city images because it can capture the macro structure uh, of the uh, rock as well as uh, it's very crucial uh, in order to do the uh, fluid flew inside the pros media so uh, having high quality micro city images uh, is really important for us so as you see in this slide we have uh, this uh, this image is cropped uh, high resolution micro city images is exactly what we get from the micro city scanner and this is the low uh, low resolution uh, micro city images in fact we uh, down scaling uh, using the bicubic uh, interpolation uh, to obtain this low resolution one with uh, down scaling factor of 4. So this uh, low resolution is at 32 by 32 pixel size and this is 128 with 128 this high resolution one. So the idea is to create a model to give this low resolution uh, micro city images as an input and create this uh, more elaborated uh, data, more uh, elaborated image. Uh, so there are different techniques that in this study we investigate. The first one, the easiest one, is uh, super resolution convolutional neural network, the basic one. It only have um, three uh, convolutional la layer, 2D convolutional layer, with kernel size of 9, 1, and 5. And the filter, uh, and the number of filters is 62, this one, 32, this one, and this is the 3. The last one is, in fact, depends. Either we have the RGB image or gray scale, like here, so in gray scale block. So you can see that this is the uh, by uh, this is the image that obtained from uh, bicubic uh, interpolation. So um, in uh, basic super resolution CR uh, SRCNN, you have to uh, use the image with the same size as the as the uh, high resolution. So we have to in fact uh, use the bicubic interpolation first uh, to uh, generate the. Uh, image with the same size as, as the high resolution one and then apply the super resolution techniques so you can see that uh, it captures some details that doesn't exist here for instance in this area that we have the huge pore but it's not very sufficient it cannot capture all the macro structure that exists in the uh, macro city images so the next uh, method that we use is more advanced one but at the same time very really shallow uh, conversion neural network it's a, a efficient sub pixel uh, conversion neural network and in fact it used a, a depth to a space uh, layer at the end which is the innovation of this method so as you can see uh, it uh, take the low resolution 32 by 32 pixel size image as an input and generate this uh, efficient subpixel uh, image that capture many details that exist in the uh, macro city uh, high resolution one so as you can see it's only have uh, just three uh, convolutional layer it's still very really shallow but uh, in fact in the last layer unlike the previous one that has only three filters uh, it has um, R times R times number of channels. In fact, R is the downscaling uh, factor. So, for instance, here it's 4 times 4 times number of channels that in gray scale is 1, or in RGB is 4. So, by increasing the number of uh, filters in the last layer, uh, it can generate a more elaborated uh, 
image so and it's very computationally uh, efficient because it's very shallow uh, models from general model and the uh, last model that uh, uh, we use is a uh, more advanced and sophisticated model so this is a uh, super resolution generative adversarial uh, network is our GANs. so uh, it's the uh, structure is slightly different from the last uh, two one in fact it has a generator and discriminator generator uh, give the low resolution image as an input and, and generate the super resolution image and then uh, this super resolution and uh, high resolution image going as an input to the discriminator and discriminator task is to uh, classify them either to uh, in fact uh, classify it, uh, them either as a fake or real image so they are either same uh, exactly the same so the, uh, the super resolution image considered as a real image or they are different uh, and uh, super resolution image considered as a fake image so it's computationally quite expensive but as you can see it can generate the very more elaborated image capture almost all the uh, macro structure that exists in the uh, high resolution one so you can see this super resolution image generated from this low uh, resolution image so you can see that it's really do very great job Com uh, and then when we compare it with the real image we can see that it was uh, quite close so this is a comparison that you can see um, the difference between the image that generated using efficiency of pixel conversion learning network as organs so you can see that SR GANs has much better uh, efficiency in generating the uh, accuracy in generating the uh, macro city images uh, with more elaborated structure, uh, while uh, efficient sub pixel uh, has advantage of uh, taking much less time uh, to train the model because it's very shallow model and still do very great almost great job to capture very uh, details of the high resolution image and that's it uh, we really appreciate the sponsorship that we have and i hope that you enjoy this presentation thank you